Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jesse, the Couch Movie Critic, and once again, we are back in the kitchen. We're going to be doing some special videos for the new PlayStation 5, amongst other things. Um, 2020 has been a rough year for a lot of people, so I've actually pretty much shut down the studio for the last part of the year. I didn't feel it was right doing a lot of these unboxings. There's so many cool things with so many people out there were hurting. Well, apparently my opinion was wrong. I got reached out to several times throughout the course of the last year by people asking me to put up new videos. And well, with the PlayStation 5 dropping on the 12th of October, um, even though my health has been pretty rough and it's been held me down, and 2020 has been, just been a shit year, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart the channel, um, get back to doing unboxing reviews. I'm actually going to start sharing some of my sneaker collection and some of my um, other pop culture items that I'm into and doing unboxing as well with you guys going forward. This is the first set of videos starting out. Um, as always, if you enjoy the videos, please feel free to reach out to me via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, Gmail, however you'd like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get to these unboxing, guys. So on this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new PlayStation 5 Media Remote. Currently goes for $29.99. I pre-ordered mine through Amazon. Um, and man, I am so excited. I can't wait for the PlayStation 5 to arrive. This is one of the first items that arrived. I got it on um, October 31st. So let's get to the unboxing so you can see what it looks like and what we got going on with it, okay? So we'll do the usual outside of the box of our normal. It's got, it looks like all of the PlayStation items are coming in these standard boxes. It's this white background with the square, triangle, the cross, the circle. And I know there's a fight about the cross being an X, but whatever, there it is. It's got a nice little picture here of the PlayStation Media Remote itself. PlayStation Sony Media Remote for PS5. On the side, real standard, just so you know what the contents are inside. The model number, the Media Remote, two AA batteries, instruction manual, and the PS logo. On the back, it gives you some further details on entertainment at the push of a button. Convenient control of entertainment on your PlayStation 5 console with an intuitive layout. Navigate your entertainment control stream apps on your PS console and the volume and power settings com of compatible TVs. Dedicated app buttons quickly access your four popular entertainment apps. <clears throat> it's got some stars here, internet and account for PlayStation Network required. Streaming service may require paid subscription and not available in all countries. This product is not compatible with all TVs and does not control all PS5 functionalities. Always update your PS5 system software to the latest version. Commercial use rounds for releasing this product prohibited to the extent of the law. By law, design and specs are subject to change without inter notice. Intended for sale in the U.S. For assistance with this product, visit PlayStation.com forward slash help. It's got the barcode, model number, PlayStation Air, Sony Interactive right down there, and Sony Interactive's address. Top, standard blue, box top, little pull tab, and the sticky seal. Bottom, it's got some other jargon here. PlayStation logos, Disney+, Plus, so on and so on, as far as trademark information is concerned. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open and take a look and see what comes inside. Boom. Open it up here. We're going to slide this over. Now, so far, oh, this is pretty slick. I have all opened one item so far without doing a video. That was the actual PS5 remote. And it looks like so far from doing this, they're all pretty much the standard. You've got the really nice decorative slip cover. And then inside, they've got a hardened shipping cardboard container. It's going to pop this bad boy open. See what it comes with. So we'll keep it sideways. There's the batteries right there. There looks like is the remote itself. It comes in one of those little plastic wraps. Your media remote with your instructions. Take a quick look over that. It's just basically the usual instructions. It looks like it's in multiple languages, including it's got information as far as cleaning, storage conditions, turning it on, setting it up, and so on, and pair and setup of the remote. It looks like that's pretty much all of it that comes with it, and it's limited warranty. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Go ahead and open this up here. So it's got a little plastic, semi-transparent bag. Let's open up, oh man, that's actually pretty slick. You know, all the photos of this thing has been this front view here, and it is two-tone like the console itself. And just like the PlayStation 5 controller, it has that textured feel, which is made up of the crosses, circles, squares, and triangles. It's got a Sony logo engraved. It's got a push here. I'm assuming that's push to release. Because I am just a two-year-old, I'm pushing on. <laughs> that's something. I don't know. Yet, but I'll get back to reading the instructions. I'm assuming that's how you release the door hinge there. And we go. We've got the front of the remote. It's actually pretty slick. Nice matte white finish. It's got your volume up, volume down. It looks like it looks like it has voice control feature as well. TV mute. There's your cross control there. With your OK button in the center. Back 
menu, rewind, pause, fast forward. I like the integrated buttons. I dig it. I think I'll actually wind up using these a little more. Right now I do everything through my Fire Cube. So having the Disney Plus here, the Netflix, the YouTube, and even my Spotify right there is actually kind of cool. And plus the PS logo right there. Now I really, really, me and my OCD, I hope I don't break this thing, but let's, yep, there it is. It actually opens the back. And there's where your batteries go. There and there. It's got the standard Sony, EAC, and whatnot warnings all alongside of itself as well, too. It's going to close that back up. Boop, snaps right shut. Slide this over here. Go ahead and take a look and see. Looks like we've got batteries come in plastic wrapping so they don't short. And that looks like that's just about everything. That's everything that comes in the box. It's actually pretty neat, easy, minimal. There's not too much excess fanfare or junk that's in here that you don't need. Um, which I love that because it simplifies everything when it comes down to it. I'm not going to worry about there. But there it goes. There is the PS5 Media Remote. Simple, clean, easy unboxing. Um, digging it. Can't wait to start using it. I pre-ordered my PlayStation 5 through Target. It's the only place I can get the pre-order, um, especially with things being the way they are with COVID and my health. I wasn't able to go out to do it like at a GameStop or anything like that, so I won't be getting mine until Saturday after release, but that's okay. I can't wait for it, and I'll definitely share, hopefully, an unboxing with you guys then. As always, guys, if you like the videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great night.